So uh, CS bar is our first thing. As we know that CS bar should be zero, then only our cheek will be activated, and that's why we have connected this CS bar pin to the ground. The next pin in this line is nothing but WR bar. The WR bar pin requires a low to high pulse to start the conversion and that low to high pulse is provided by using the 8051 microcontroller that's why this WR bar pin of ADC is connected to one of the pin of 8051 microcontroller here that pin is P2.6 in the interfacing the next pin is nothing but INTR bar the INTR bar in the ADC will uh, when it will become low then this gives the in, us the indication that your data is converted from analog form into the digital form and that's why we want to monitor continuously the status of this INTI bar pin and that will be monitored by using 8051 microcontroller so for that this INTR bar pin is also connected with one of the pin of 8051 microcontroller so here we have connected this INTR bar pin to P2.7 of the 8051 microcontroller. The next pin in this line is nothing but RD bar pin. The RD bar pin. So whenever we know that whenever this INTR bar pin will become low. So now the data is converted from analog form into the digital form and that digital value is stored in the internal register of ADC when we want to latch this digital value from the ADC into the pins of the ADC ADC register into the pins of the ADC at that time we want to give a low to high pulse on this RD bar pin and that's why this low to high pulse will be generated by using your 8051 microcontroller so we have connected this ID RD bar pin to one of the pin of 8051 microcontroller here that pin is P2.5 now once the 8-bit data is available with us on this D0 to D7 data pin of your ADC then it is mandatory for further processing to take that data into the microcontroller and that's why this D0 to D7s are connected to one of the port of microcontroller here that is connected to port 1 of the microcontroller for the remaining pin we have firstly the input pin so here we have two input pins V in plus and V in minus uh, if we have we want to take the differential input then this uh, two inputs are given to V in plus pin and V in minus pin and the output is uh, output uh, and the input inside this 80 uh, ADC inside this ADC will be treated as the differential input of this two V in plus and V in minus inputs but here as we require only well, we have only one input as in case of sensor we have only one input so if we have only one input then if we have only one input then that input is always given to the V in plus pin and so that's why we have given this input as uh, here our sensor is your potentiometer and we have given this input to the variable terminal of the potentiometer so V in plus is connected to the uh, variable terminal of the potentiometer and V in minus is not used that's why it is connected to here two grounds are there analog ground and digital ground now analog ground is the ground as we have analog signal at the input uh, that's why this analog ground is provided so uh, and uh, digital ground is the ground which is connected to the ground of the supply but as here uh, in this case there is no analog and ground type of uh, analog and digital type of concept at all everything is digital here uh, so that's why the uh, the pins A ground and D ground uh, are connected to the same ground. Now next pin is your V reference by 2 pin. So in our programming we are uh, what we are doing we are considering this V reference by 2 pin as default. So due to that we will uh, left unconnected uh, this pin. Okay, We will not connect this pin anywhere. Now the next pin is clock R and clock in. As we discussed previously, clock-in pin is used when we will use the external oscillator. 
but here as we are using the internal oscillator of your ADC that's why uh, we will connect this clock in and clock R pin with 10 kilo ohms resistor and 150 uh, picofarad uh, capacitance in this fashion. The VCC is connected to plus 5 volt 